हेलो एवरीबॉडी हाउ यू ऑल वेलकम टू दिस सेशन टुडे वी हैव मॉडल टेस्ट फॉर कर्नाटका के ही असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर बट आई हैव नॉट कवर्ड द एंटायर सिलेबस आई हैव कवर्ड ओनली मेजर ब्रिटिश लिटरेचर टॉपिक्स वी विल डू सेवरल मॉडल टेस्ट uh and cover ke assistant professor syllabus okay today there is only some topics i have covered because we have to cover in detail na isliye we will cover in detail okay guys this will help gate and every exam this model test will help gate and every exam so stay with me till the end i have added questions for all of you and uh, such kind of questions i have taken from david deitches and important books in the exam also um you will get from these books only so please pay attention and give a lot of importance to these questions okay guys Well, are you ready? Shall I start? First question. Uh, we are starting. I will explain the questions. Okay, I will explain so that you will remember. This is not only for Karnataka exam. This is for all exams. But I have followed. a portion of Karnataka assistant professor syllabus, not entire syllabus. i will do more quizzes for karnataka assistant professor so that everything will be covered got it this is for northeast slet um, and other uh, net other exams also i know i have a schedule here of all the exams coming up all, all the exams i have looked at here and we will do, deal with all this listen to this in the preface to which work does shelley famously announce his poetic purpose thus why am i giving you this question because it is from david deitches if this quotation is given in david deitches they will ask you this question in some exam very very important many hundreds of questions we have in many exams are from david deitches so it is extremely important to cover everything okay uh, pg trb everything will i will do you will be added in a um, group and we will get quizzes we will give quizzes there we have just started pg trb quizzes and don't worry we will add you in a group and everybody can join okay so it is only 300 rupees i know that pg trb exam is coming up and uh, you can just join by paying 300 rupees and get a lot of uh, practice quizzes okay guys i am posting the link here i hope it works Karnataka set exam may be next month. So, in the preface to which work does Shelley famously announce his poetic purpose thus: to familiarize the highly refined imagination of the more select classes of poetical readers. Highly refined imagination is familiarized with beautiful idealisms of moral excellence. where in the preface to which work does he say his poetic purpose is this to familiarize the highly refined imagination of the more select classes of poetical readers with beautiful idealisms of moral excellence aware that until the mind can love and admire and trust and hope and endure reason reasoned principles of moral conduct are seeds cast upon the highway of life wow what a statement that he is making do you know which book it is anybody please answer i am waiting for your answers he said this in
Where did he say this? He said this in the preface to Prometheus Unbound. The preface to Prometheus Unbound. Shelley announced his famous poetical purpose. So no, some of these works don't even have a preface. Prometheus Unbound has a famous preface. Will you remember everybody? Prometheus Unbound is a poetical drama. Isn't it? It is a uh, closet drama. It is a poetical drama or closet drama where he is developing the Prometheus myth in his own way. You know, Prometheus is a Shellyan hero. It is in the famous preface to Prometheus Unbound that Shelley announced his poetic purpose. Will you remember? Prometheus Unbound has a famous preface. Okay. Will you remember now? He announced his poetic purpose. In Prometheus Unbound, who is the spirit of the underworld associated with the realm of night? Or the world of the dead in pagan mythology. In Prometheus Unbound, the concluding announcement. Listen, everybody. This man makes the conclude. This character makes the concluding announcement. I am talking from uh, David Datus's book. This is very important. Hundreds of questions in various net set exams, etc. Come from this book only. Okay. It is Demogorgon. Demogorgon. In Prometheus Unbound, there is a spirit of the underworld called Demogorgon. Mercury is another character. Another character in the same book. Mercury is another character in Prometheus Unbound. Will you look up the characters in Prometheus Unbound? The Furies are also there in Prometheus Unbound. The Furies are also there. Okay. Will you look up, uh, you know, Prometheus Unbound characters could be important. Okay. Demogorgon. He makes the final concluding pronouncement. Final stanza is pronounced by Demogorgon. Okay. Then, which of these poem or poems are written in Terza Rima and shows the triumphant progression of a heroic figure? Listen everybody, in Shelley, always you see a one Shellyan hero who is progressing triumphantly. A Shellyan hero who is progressing triumphantly. That is there in Triumph of Life, in Ode to the West Wind, in uh, Mask of Anarchy, Mask of Anarchy. Terza Rima is there in Ode to the West Wind and Triumph of Life. Terza Rima is there in Ode to the West Wind and Triumph of Life. Demogorgon, I didn't underline. Let me check if I marked everything. Yes, I marked everything. Did you get me guys? Terza Rima, Ode to the West Wind and Triumph of Life. Adonai is Pensarian stanza. Ozymandias is not Terza Rima, it's a sonnet. Terza Rima means three, three lines. Ozymandias is a sonnet. Adonai has Pensarian stanza. Will you remember everyone? Adonai is... Spencerian stanza. Okay. Are my KEA assistant professor students here? We have nearly 200 students in KEA assistant professor course. Where are they? Only 122 are here. See? They are not attending this session. Mm. Now, which of the following is not a poem by Shelley? When the lamp is shattered... O world, O life, O time, tonight, ode to duty. Which of these is not a poem by Shelley? All these poems are mentioned in, discussed in um, David Deitches. Okay? That is why I took these titles. Tell me which of the following is not a poem by Shelley? 
of course um owed to duty is by owed to duty is by wordsworth many of these questions will come in gate also such questions are there in gate also okay i have gate people also in mind that is why i am dealing with 19th century because definitely in gate exam 19th century questions will will be there okay so gate people pay attention owed to duty is by wordsworth when the lamp is shattered it is discussed in david deitches o world o life o time long ago in net this poem was asked as it is pyq to night also by shelley okay don't think this is only for ke exam i have kept in mind gate also everybody pay attention now about which of his poems did keats say a test a trial of my powers of imagination and chiefly of my invention which is a rare thing indeed by which i must make 4000 lines of one bare circumstance remember he is talking about his powers of imagination so he is talking about one early poem where he tried out his imagination he is talking about an early poem where he tried out his imagination did you understand keats said this poem is a test a trial of my powers of imagination chiefly of my invention that means he is himself uh discovering this story and you know using his imagination an early poem nay test one was yesterday test one was gate exam yesterdays today is to, for fi five days we have model test that is why test two bol rahe hain uh nikhil sharma i have left an academy on 31st january but my course is still there you can still use the course it is endymion 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 today i have started pg trb quizzes those who want to join can join uh pg trb ka quiz hai only 300 rupees and uh, anybody who is preparing for any exam will benefit from it because i have made very detailed questions on lots of major books okay i am posting the link there after some time if you whatsapp me you will get the link i will add in whatsapp also yes endymion keats said why am i asking this question because david deitches has talked about it keats said this poem is a test a trial of my powers of imagination chiefly of my invention it is a rare thing indeed by which i must make 4000 lines of one bare circumstance i left because i have to start courses in tests also na which is important now which of the following are the themes of keats's isabella or the pot of basil which of the following are the themes for isabella or the pot of basil love death and devotion incest war and magic medievalism magic and chivalry murder revenge and magic dhyan se padho navneet we are still uh, this uh, pg trb uh, we are still making but there will be like um, um, probably uh, what can i say some 2000 questions at least i think we have made 2000 questions at least Yes, Isabella or the Pot of Basil is a story of Isabella falling in love with Lorenzo. Isabella's brother kill Lorenzo. Isabella is so sad she cuts off the head of Lorenzo, puts it in a pot of basil, and then she cries and waters the pot of basil. And then what happens? The hus the brothers steal the pot of basil, throw it away. So what are the themes is it love death and devotion incest war and magic no magic is there no war is there no incest is there medievalism is there in isabella but magic and chivalry no 
murder revenge murder is there but revenge is not there uh, magic is not there. revenge brothers are taking revenge anyway most important is love death and devotion love death and devotion of course it is good for any exam net also because they are all very major classic books in pgtrb course all are major classic books so if you join only 300 rupees you will get lots of practice i will keep it open for a long time don't worry okay these are all new quizzes it is not a revise i am not recycling old quizzes these are new quizzes so the keats's isabella is about love death and devotion will you remember uh, isabella is loving lorenzo devoted to lorenzo madness is also there madness love death devotion madness also she goes mad kind of now poetry is the record of the best and happiest moments of the happiest and best minds who of the following made the statement poetry is the record of the best and happiest moments of the happiest and best minds who of the following is associated with the statement again i am uh, asking you from david deiches it is in a defense of poetry by pb shelley pb shelley said poetry is the record of the best and happiest moments of the happiest and best minds pb shelley also said uh, poets are the unacknowledged legislators of the world poets are the unacknowledged legislators of the world he said he also said poetry is the record of the best and happiest moments of the happiest and best minds will you study will you remember very very important okay aise questions aayenge exam mein and you will think ma'am your questions came how did they come in some exam all this will come because examination is also following this book i am also following important books okay very very many important books we have we will follow all that i will make sure you know all the questions now which of the following is not a romantic verse narrative romantic verse narrative means narrative poem romantic narrative poem the gior helas marmion the bride of abydos do you remember all these works the gior who wrote it the gior is by byron helas is a verse play by shelley helas is a verse play by shelley so that is the answer it is not a narrative poem marmion is by walter scott it is also a narrative poem the bride of abydos is again by byron again narrative poem only clear helas is a verse play it is by shelley shelley wrote the chenchi prometheus unbound helas then swell foot the tyrant okay isliye bubbly bhat i am saying i will help you na अरे निखिल शर्मा मेरा एक मेरा कोर्स है ना वहाँ माय कोर्स इज देयर आई एम ऑलवेज टेलिंग यू इफ यू जॉइन अन अकेडमी इट इज़ नॉट गोइंग टू बॉदर इट इज़ नॉट गोइंग टू एक्चुअली ट्रबल यू बिकॉज इट इज़ नॉट गोइंग टू बी अ लॉस बिकॉज माय कोर्स इज देयर पी पी टीज आर देयर पी डी एफ इज देयर एवरीथिंग इज देयर वीडियोज आर देयर ऑल्सो फॉलो मी इन टेन पी एम एंड अदर मेनी अदर ओकेजन आर देयर टू फॉलो मी आई एम देयर एवरी वेर डोंट थिंक इट इज Uh, a mistake now next question which of the following is or are unfinished poems don yuan did you know don yuan is unfinished don yuan is unfinished hyperion keats left unfinished because it had miltonic overtones Beppo is not unfinished. Epipsyche Dion also is not unfinished, as far as I know. Beppo is not unfinished. Epipsyche Dion also not unfinished. Okay. Remember, these are all in very very important uh, from the point of view of uh, exams. They will ask you what are unfinished poems. So, guys, remember when you come across uh, such. It is a very long poem. Don Juan is a very long poem. Yes, Nikhil, 
will you whatsapp me nikhil you can all whatsapp me okay you will get the links and everything nikhil you whatsapp me and we will solve your problem i have a solution for you epipsychidion is shelley's shelley's poem shelley is very famous later poem it is beppo is by byron hai na hyperion is by keats don juan of course by byron will you remember everybody then which of the following poems deal with musicians which of the following poems deal with musicians fra lippo lippi is a painter like andrea del sarto fra lippo lippi is a painter abt vogler is a musician all are by all these poems are by uh browning abt vogler is definitely musician you know in that poem abt vogler is extemporizing on a musical instrument of his own invention in abt vogler abt means abbot the word abt means abbot abt vogler is extemporizing on a musical instrument of his own invention a toccato of galupis is also a musician how did i get it because david deitches has said it in david deitches it is said clearly important poems of browning about musicians abt vogler toccato of galupis master hugues of sax gotha that is also musician that is also about musician very clearly it is said so in gate exam etc they will expect you to read major literary histories gate exam can be written by ba students also even ba students should read literary history book so when they read david deitches you will get these points that is why they they'll ask like this so sometimes they will ask i think okay that is why i am teaching you just remember abt vogler a toccato of galupis master hugues of sax gotha these are all musicians all these are poems by robert browning which of the following poems by robert browning abhi yahan likh deti hu i will write here so that you will know okay guys did you like the question in gate also they will ask karnataka exam also they will ask because for both these exams uh, ye what is it called uh, david deitches is very important now who is the i have taught karnataka people a lot of things these are all extra questions i want all my students of karnataka assistant professor course to attend this session who is the author of these lines uh, my students who are attending this session will you please tell them in the group guys come on this is very useful it is indeed very useful please ask all of them to come who is the author of these lines ayyo two times i wrote who is the author of these lines dhyan se padho read carefully you will easily understand in the stormy east wind straining the pale yellow woods were waning the broad streams in his banks complaining heavily the low sky raining over towered camelot now tell me who is the author of these lines very easy now the word camelot is there that is one clue another clue is straining waning complaining raining kaun likhta hai aisa is it denison is it browning is it hardy is it hopkins bolo of course it is denison it is denison's lady of shallot it is denison's the lady of shallot remember everybody please pay attention everybody tennison always wrote in a very silly manner like this describing too much rhyming too much browning aisa nahi likhta browning doesn't write like that hardy doesn't write like that hopkins doesn't write like that okay none of them will write like that tennison always writes very musical uh, like this and also camelot is a very famous place associated with king arthur it is part of lady of shallot lady of shallot will you remember everybody now got the clue and these lines are quoted in david deitches 
that is why i am asking you okay these lines are quoted in david deitches okay so this is tennyson everybody understood right did you all understand next which of these poems was praised by john ruskin in modern painters as evoking the renaissance spirit when they ask questions like this don't think they are asking originally from john ruskin no they are asking from david deitches or some important book like that which of these poems was praised by john ruskin in modern painters as evoking the renaissance spirit is it the bishop orders his tomb but saint praxeds is it the ring and the book my last duchess rabi benezra bolo it is john ruskin talked about the bishop orders his tomb at saint praxeds that is the poem john ruskin talked about in modern painters as evoking the renaissance spirit so no guys uh, uh those who have paid for pgtrb quizzes please wait you will be added to the group after i finish this session i will start giving you links okay don't worry just wait you will get lots of quizzes questions online quizzes based on major texts okay guys very good now listen everybody when they ask such questions in the exam remember they are asking from major books like david deitches they don't want you to read modern painters they want you to read major books like david deitches did you understand i know navneet even i was like that as a student we it is very difficult to follow everything here which is why i am helping you this is a very difficult book so difficult so much points but don't worry mai hu na i will explain and everything i will teach you na no no problem okay right those who have paid for pg trb quizzes just wait you will be added to the group which of these dickens characters is rightly matched with the novels bolo which of these dickens characters correctly matched with the novels pecksniff martin chuzzlewit little nell old curiosity shop mr crummles nicolas nickleby is it correct mr jingle pickwick papers whose work is this means they are all works by browning which of these poems by browning they are all poems by browning okay all are the, all are poems by browning famous poems by browning all of them which of these dickens characters is correctly matched pecksniff martin chuzzlewit little nell old curiosity shop mr crummles uh, nicolas nickleby mr jingle pickwick papers many of you are saying b is correct okay you can choose more than one answer you can choose more than one answer to bolo again all these characters are mentioned in david deitches all the, you know you can't memorize every character in dickens only major character for example pecksniff you won't memorize but remember if pecksniff is mentioned in david deitches then you should know pecksniff martin chuzzl remember all are correct all are correct pecksniff is in martin chuzzl with little nell is in old curiosity shop mr bentley crummles is in mr crummles wait 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 is it correct or wrong let me check let me check uh wait 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 i have a i have a problem i i think i'm wrong crummel crummels is in uh, great ex vincent crummels not bentley correct correct mr vincent crummels correct vincent crummels is in nicolas nickleby correct mr jingle is in pickwick papers all are correct theek hai all are correct dickens characters so no guys my students of kea assistant professor exams listen to me you can't memorize in the coming days i am with you to revise like this okay we will revise like this uh, you can't memorize every single character in the world so from today onwards when we revise i will be following major books like this i have a collection of major books 
I will give you questions like this. Then you will be able to revise even more efficiently. Okay. Study all these characters. Now, about which novel did Jane Austen say? It is rather too light and bright and sparkling. It wants shade. About which novel did Jane Austen say this? It is rather too light and bright and sparkling. It wants shade. Bolo. It is not something you think. It cannot be persuasion. Persuasion is not light and bright and sparkling. Persuasion is a very, very serious novel. Compared to the other earlier novels. It cannot be persuasion. Is it sense and sensibility, pride and prejudice, Northanger Abbey? It is pride and prejudice. How do I know? Because it is given here. Pride and prejudice. Okay. It is pride and prejudice. Pride and prejudice. Jane Austen says, it is rather too light and bright and sparkling. It wants shade. Will you remember everybody? Pride and prejudice. Very good. Very good. Remember that we are English is a speech by, again Jane Austen, is a speech by which uh, Austen character? Is it Henry Tilney in Northanger Abbey? Frederick Wentworth in Persuasion. Frederick Wentworth is in Persuasion, isn't it? Is it Charles Bingley in Pride and Prejudice? Or is it Edmund Bertram in Mansfield Park? Remember that we are English. This is a speech by which Austin character? Bolo, it is Henry Tilney. It is Henry Tilney. What happens in uh, Northanger Abbey? Our Catherine Morland thinks that Henry Tilney's father is a gothic villain. Okay, Catherine Morland, the heroine, reads too much of Anne Radcliffe. Anne Radcliffe's Mysteries of Udolpho, she is obsessed with. Anna? Anne Radcliffe's Mysteries of Udolpho, she is obsessed with. And she thinks that Henry Tilney's father, General Tilney of Northanger Abbey, that is the name of their house, he is a gothic villain, she thinks. When Henry Tilney comes to know of this, Henry Tilney, Tilney gives her one lecture. Remember that we are English and we are Christians. Don't think such gothic thoughts. Did you understand? Remember that we are English and we are Christians. He says, Henry Tilney in Northanger Abbey. Got it everybody? Henry says to Catherine Morland. Wonderful. Then, which of the following is a novel by Henry Fielding? Ayayo, so many girls. Hey, Cecilia, Amelia, Camilla, Evelina. Bolo, which of these is a novel by Henry Fielding? Cecilia, Amelia, Camilla, Evelina. Are many of you will know. Cecilia is by Fanny Bernie. Yo. Amelia is by Fielding. Camilla again is by Fanny Bernie. Evelina is by Fanny Bernie. Tige? Amelia is against the British judiciary. The legal system of Britain. Amelia. Did you understand? Cecilia, Camilla, Evelina are by Fanny Bernie. Then... Tom Jones being a comic epic in prose. Tom Jones being a comic epic in prose. What is the Hamartia of Squire Allworthy? Tom Jones being a comic epic in prose. What is the Hamartia of Squire Allworthy? Is it hot temperedness? Apparent indulgence in immorality? Is it overconfidence in his knowledge of men? Is it covert wickedness? 
बोलो इट इज डेविड डेच इज अगेन हु सेड अबाउट स्क्वायर ऑलवर्थी इज हमार्शिया इज स्क्वायर ऑलवर्थी हॉट टेम्पर्ड नो इट इज स्क्वायर वेस्टर्न हु इज हॉट टेम्पर्ड इट इज स्क्वायर वेस्टर्न अपेरेंट इंडल्जेंस इन इमोरालिटी that is the hamarsha of tom jones himself this is tom jones himself not square allworthy then over confidence in his knowledge of men are that is the answer covert wickedness is the hamarsha of blifil blifil over confidence in his knowledge of men that is the hamarsha of square allworthy did you understand everybody everybody clear oh covert wickedness is blifil hai na theek hai next did you like the questions everyone my kea students did you like the questions ye bolo about which of his novels did henry fielding say that there is nothing in the novel that can offend even the chastest eye on perusal there is nothing in the novel that is immoral oh rahila i am so sorry rahila aaj kya hua mujhe nahi pata kya hua ayyo now about which of his novels did henry fielding say that there is nothing in the novel that can offend even the chastest eye on perusal it is such a moral novel there is nothing immoral in the novel that is the meaning oh it is tom jones he said that about tom jones okay he said that about tom jones that it is such a moral novel yashoda this will help you in northeast slet also okay all these questions will help you in northeast slet also anjali just follow all this that i am saying anjali study everything in detail then if anybody if your money is the problem you try to contact me i will try to give you a scholarship what else can i say i am going to start net course in february complete net course in february aaj to shuru ki pg trb quizzes pg trb quizzes will help you in many exams but uh, if you want you can join this whatever exam you are writing it's only 300 rupees okay guys now who in 1741 suno suno who in 1741 wrote a volume of modern letters titled letters written to and for particular friends directing the requisite style and forms to be observed in writing familiar letters in short this title is familiar letters this book is also called familiar letters who wrote it who wrote it सेल्फ स्टडी क्यों करते हो मैं हूं ना आई विल हेल्प यू हु रोट दिस लॉन्ग टाइटल ऑफ यू नो लेटर्स लेटर्स रिटर्न टू एंड फॉर पर्टिकुलर फ्लेंस ब्ला 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 फेमिलियर लेटर्स इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड इट इज सैम्युअल रिचर्डसन सैम्युअल रिचर्डसन रोट लविंग लेटर्स ऑफ लविंग लेटर्स ऑफ सर्वेंट्स टू देयर रिलेटिव्स डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड these are modern letters and that experience of writing familiar letters also led him to write epistolary novels he also wrote epistolary novels okay in which country other than england is sir charles grandison set charles grandison by richardson ayyo charles grandison is by samuel richardson in which country other than england is charles grandison set bolo ke a students of mine ke a students net complete course guys 
मनी शुड नेवर बी योर प्रॉब्लम फॉर एनीथिंग हमारे पास है ना स्कॉलरशिप एंड दिस स्कीम एंड दैट स्कीम डोंट वरी जस्ट मैसेज अस यू विल ऑलवेज गेट सम सोल्यूशन के ई एस स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ माइंड माई स्वीट हार्ट्स कर्नाटका के ई एस स्टूडेंट्स बोलो इन विच कंट्री अदर दैन इंग्लैंड इट इज इटली 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 अरे रे 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 सब लोग बी सी डी ई एफ जी एच आई इज तक बोल रहे हैं लेकिन ए नहीं बोल सकते क्या कोई भी ए नहीं बोला सब लोग बोल रहे हैं इज तक नो एक्स वाई जेड बोलो अरे इटली 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 ओके Now, in which novel does the protagonist write these lines? I think I was loath to leave the house. Can you believe it? What could be the matter with me? I wonder. I feel something strange in my heart. I wonder what ailed me. <laughs> That sound is also there at the end. So now, guys, I will make a complete video about net cause. Okay, don't worry. those ever the, whoever who wants net course and everything i am there in whatever way you want we will have so many schemes this time don't worry okay now just answer this question abhi nahi do din mein announce karungi main in which novel does the protagonist say i think i was loath to leave the house i wanted to leave the house but i couldn't leave can you believe it what could be the matter with me i wonder that sound is there i feel something strange at my heart <laughs> i wonder what ailed me <laughs> tell me <laughs> so that sound is also there so is it joseph andrews is it pamela is it tom jones or clarissa <laughs> yeah 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 it is pamela pamela is writing letters after letters so many pens all these pens are pamela spends all these are over nothing writes because she wrote so many letters to her parents saying this square b is trying to seduce me he gets into my bed he is uh, you know touching me he is doing this doing that <laughs> i can't leave this house i don't want to leave <laughs> that is pamela virtue rewarded everybody attacked pamela <laughs> did you understand next in which novel is there a long autobiography of mr wilson given as an interpolated story interpolated story means in between story <laughs> a long story of uh, a long autobiography of mr wilson given as an interpolated story it describes grub street hacks grub street with hack writers working for booksellers those who want to join net classes no problem when uh, i announce it just to do what i say bindas everybody will get or uh, every opportunity don't worry my intention is to teach everybody who wants to study okay ye bolo na one long autobiography of mr wilson mr wilson has a long lost son and our hero is listening to the story of mr wilson and mr wilson said my son had a strawberry mark on his chest i lost him and our hero says are strawberry mark is there on my chest hero and mr wilson get united they are father and son bolo which novel is this they are father and son mr wilson is the father of our hero did you know that it is joseph andrews ta da da joseph andrews is listening to the long autobiography of mr wilson it is an interpolated story digression and mr wilson story narrates grub street hack writers who are fake writers working for booksellers and mr wilson says i had a son he had a strawberry mark on his chest <laughs> i lost him and our hero says 
अरे मेरा भी एक स्ट्रॉबेरी मार्क है आई हैव अ स्ट्रॉबेरी मार्क एंड फादर एंड सन आर यूनाइटेड अंजलि चावला विल यू प्लीज स्टॉप पैनिकिंग धीरे धीरे थोड़ा थोड़ा करके सब पढ़ लो यू कैन डू इट यू आर अ जीनियस हैव सम कॉन्फिडेंस अंजलि प्लीज अंजलि यस नाउ यू शुड नॉट फर्गेट मिस्टर विल्सन इज इन जोसफ एंड्रूस ओके नो बडी शुड फर्गेट एंड ऑल्सो ग्रब स्ट्रीट हैग्स बैड हैक राइटर्स राइटिंग फॉर बुक सेलर्स नेक्स्ट द प्रोग्रेस ऑफ पोइसी बाई थॉमस ग्रे has the theme of a scholarly work that he planned to write but never completed so now the progress of poesy is by thomas gray it has the theme of a scholarly work thomas gray wanted to write a book like this but he never completed it that theme is there in progress of poesy what is that theme biographies of famous poets mythological roots of poetry history of english poetry the current developments in contemporary poetry bolo kaun sa hai team kya hoga progress of poesy ka progress of poesy ka team kya hoga bolo Tada! Dang, Anjali, stop being depressed. Rose आती है, रोंदू Anjali. क्यों इतना रोती हो तुम? बोलो. <laughs> Anjali is actually a genius. She knows a lot of things. She is studying, and she will be an amazing assistant professor. She will pass exams if only she studies a little more. She will get JRF. Uh, but Anjali says, "I don't know anything. I don't know how to study, ma'am. Help me, ma'am." क्या है Anjali? Help ही तो कर रही हूँ. अरे सुनो, guys, it is history of English poetry. Ding ding ding. Progress of poetry is about the history of English poetry. Our Thomas Gray wanted to write one history of English poetry. He went to the library, studied, studied, studied. Never wrote that book. He only wrote progress of poetry. Anjali I believe in you you are a genius So now the progress of poesy by Thomas Gray has the theme of a scholarly work that he planned to write but never completed That theme is history of English poetry will you remember Okay On which day is Alexander Pope's Dunciad set Ta da da Westminster day The day of Lord Mayor's show, वो हो ही नहीं सकता Saint Martin's Day, Saint Agnes's Day, बोलो 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 Rahila, you will pass with जे आर एफ राहिला स्टडी प्रॉपरली सुनो ऑल ऑफ यू आर अमेजिंग पीपल नो राहिला डोंट बी डिप्रेस्ड यू शुड गो ऑन एंड ऑन स्टडी कैन आई टेल यू वन सीक्रेट एवरीबडी डोंट टेल एनी बडी ओके one secret is there don't tell anybody this kalyani balath who is sitting here was one dumbo she did not know anything then what happened she studied and she passed and she started teaching finished like that if you don't know anything i have a solution continuously study then pass then become amazing teachers finished <laughs> it is not difficult it is easy are kya hai ye log do you think law day of lord mayor's show i will cook up from my brain my brain is very small i don't know all these things i know only westminster day st martin's day st agnes's day all that i made the day of lord mayor's show that is alexander pope's setting for dunciad ye chote chote नकली डेज एंड ऑल वाई आर यू चूसिंग दे आर ऑल माइंड द डे ऑफ लॉर्ड मेयर्स शो दैट इज डी एट सेटिंग डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीबडी ठीक है यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट नो बडी इन दिस वर्ल्ड केम नोइंग एवरीथिंग वी आर ऑल इक्वल 
we all came with nothing when we go we will have nothing in between some people study 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 pass don't waste your time getting depressed be warriors i am your commander not even captain commander general okay and we are all an army we are going to defeat ignorance in dunciad ignorance is replacing dullness is replacing science and order but in our case we will defeat ignorance we will learn everything together we will slowly slowly cover everything what is our dream what is our dream hamara sapna kya hai bolo india should be number one country for english literature people in england people in america people in australia people all over the world should say we want to go to india to study english literature because here so many of you will become professors and you will study and teach with such passion that all people wow they'll fall in love with english literature they will read english literature in future 100 years from now people will say one history book will be written only in india people study people read english literature and studied it properly you understand like that we should dream okay okay you are the leaders you are all geniuses you are leaders nobody is going to be defeated why would you be defeated we are all studying so many wonderful things remember last year last year we knew so less this year we know so much more last january yaad hai last january mein hum log kuch nahi jante the in one year we studied so much hai na sach bolo so much we studied together what is going to stop us if we study like this for five more years so no we are like warriors you are not going to be defeated okay <laughs> next question thank you anjali for giving me this opportunity to give this lecture why did i write what sin sing nahi sin sin what sin to me unknown deep meaning my parents or my own mujhe lagta hai anjali ka depression anjali se udh ke alexander pope pe pahunch gaya pe gir gaya Anjali's depression rose like an angel. Anjali's depression rose like this. Chan 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 chan. Alexander Pope pe gir gaya. And Alexander Pope is writing, why did I write? What sin to me unknown dipped me in ink, my parents or my own. In which book Alexander Pope wrote this? Bolo bolo. In which book Alexander Pope wrote this? Is it moral essays, essay on criticism, Dunciad, <laughs> or epistle to Doctor Abbott? Not. It is epistle to Doctor Abbott. Not in epistle to Doctor Abbott. Not. क्या होता है? He is talking about Alexander Pope is talking about his own satiric art. Alexander Pope is saying, "I am a satirist. I am satirizing other people." because those other people are such poetasters they are such stupid people i am fed up with them this is why i am writing theek <laughs> hai in epistle to dr abbot not alexander pope is saying that um, he is so fed up with other people you know clear everyone now which of the following poems is addressed to henry st john viscount bolingbroke bolo which of these poems is addressed to henry st john viscount bolingbroke jo hua so hua anjali rahila you you are no longer depressed wo aise pankh chala ke ud ke alexander pope pe gir gaya hai abhi to kuch depression nahi hai hamara Anjali and Rahila don't spread the depression okay that has flown and reached Alexander Pope you people are not depressed it is yes essay on man essay on man henry st john discount viscount bolingbroke that is the addressee of essay on man whereas moral essays was addressed to 
several people moral essays was addressed to several people will you remember okay right whom did alexander pope attack when pope was provoked by little senate at buttons coffee house in buttons coffee house people attacked alexander pope alexander pope became so angry and alexander pope attacked one person which person ching 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 it is online live nahi it is online you can do it pgtrb quizzes are live uh, online many many quizzes you can just sit and do every day like that i will give you link in the group my kea assistant professor students please answer it is suno 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 uh, buttons coffee house is a place it is a coffee house suno suno even though alexander pope attacked addison and lord hervey in epistle to dr abbot not i think only addison is associated with little senate only addison associated with little senate associated with little senate ठीक है बी भी है लॉर्ड हर्वी ऑल्सो अटैक्ड इन एपिसल टू डॉक्टर आर बथ नॉट विल यू प्लीज चेक आउट अगेन वेदर आर लॉर्ड हर्वी इज ऑल्सो देयर इन लिटिल सेनेट आई डोंट नो अबाउट इट ठीक है नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ सटायर which of the following is not a satire argument against abolishing christianity is by swift shortest way with the descenders is by d4 a modest proposal again by swift a short view of the present state of ireland again by swift david deitch says this is not satirical this is not satirical other essays are satirical other satires are they are others are all satirical yes yes atticus atticus addison attacked us at atticus and lord hervey attacked us sporus lord hervey attacked us sporus i will give this pdf in our telegram group as well as kea group okay ke assistant professor students i will give you this pdf okay along with the truck loads of pdf that you have got now uh, which of the following is not a poem by william blake the nurse's song holy thursday the little vagabond the clod and the pebble bolo which of these is not a poem bolo are i cheated you kaise all these are by blake all these are by blake nurse song holy thursday little vagabond the clod and the pebble all are poems by blake okay tada dang the language of great poets when they are not working under plenary inspiration has been called parnassian who used the word parnassian in this context this is a net question but it is there in david deitches and it pg uh, our ka people have already got this in their syllabus bolo la the language of great poets when they are not working under plenary inspiration has been called parnassian who used the word parnassian it is g m hopkins g m hopkins then who defined the poet thus 
one who has greater knowledge of human nature and a more comprehensive soul than are supposed to be common among mankind. It is William Wordsworth in William Wordsworth in Prefaced to Lyrical Ballads. A poet is one with a greater knowledge of human nature and a more comprehensive soul than is supposed to be common among mankind. Then, Wordsworth's poems are well known for their extraordinary clarity and immediacy. Which poem begins like this? Tis eight o'clock, a clear March night, the moon is up, the sky is blue, the owlet in the moonlight air shouts from nobody knows where. Bolo, Michael, idiot boy, the thorn, Simon Lee, WhatsApp me to get telegram link. Just WhatsApp me to get telegram link. And join our PGTRB quizzes. It will immensely help you. It is only 300 rupees. So many questions you will get for just 300 rupees. Suno naan. Esa It is idiot boy. The idiot boy begins like this. It is 8 o'clock. A clear March night. The moon is up. The sky is blue. Okay. Idiot boy. About the protagonist of which poem did Wordsworth say thus? And never lifted up a single stone. And never lifted up a single stone, Wordsworth said. This is also a, a PYQ. TRB means, what is PG TRB? Bolo, kui, bol, bolo Rahila, ko. PGTRB, what is the full form? About which protagonist did Wordsworth say this? It is about Michael. Michael is so... I will tell you, Rahila, wait. Michael is so sad that his son Luke has gone to the city. And he got corrupted there. He could not work after that. He never lifted up a single stone. Okay? <clears throat> Teacher recruitment board. I know. TRB is Teacher Recruitment Board, Postgraduate Teacher Recruitment Board. Now, in the conversation poem, Reflections on Having Left a Place of Retirement, Coleridge uses the Latin phrase, Sermoni Propriora. Propriora. Sermoni Propriora. What does it mean? It means more appropriate to conversation. Where is this quotation from? It is from Horace. In uh, Reflections on Having Left a Place of Retirement, it is a conversation poem. Will you remember? Reflections on Having Left a Place of Retirement is a conversation poem. Here, uh, Coleridge is using a Latin phrase called Sermoni Propriora. What does it mean? It means more appropriate to conversation. It is a quotation from Horace. Then, what is the theme of Coleridge's poem, France and Ode, originally titled Recantation? What is the theme of France and Ode, originally titled Recantation? His excitement at the progress of the French Revolution, his disillusionment with the course of the French Revolution, the beauty of the Alps in France, a comparison of French poetry with English. Bolo. What is the theme of Coleridge's poem, France and Ode? It is his disillusionment with the course of the French Revolution. His disillusionment... Uh, with the course of the French Revolution. Will you remember? That is the theme of Coleridge's poem. France and Ode. Are UP ka bhi hai na? UP H-E-S-E. Now, which of the following is not a description of the Pacific Ocean? In the rhyme of the ancient mariner. Silent sea. Slimy sea. 
rotting sea, sunless sea, painted ocean. Silent sea, slimy sea, rotting sea, <laughs> sunless sea, painted ocean. Which of these is not in the rhyme of the ancient mariner? Sunless sea is in Kubla Khan. <clears throat> Sunless sea is in Kubla Khan. All the other others are in Kon Bola. UP ka hai na UP H E S E. Bihar ka bhi hai na kuch. I have taught people for it. Sunless sea is in Kubla Khan. Silent sea, slimy sea, rotting sea, painted ocean. These are all expressions in rhyme of the ancient mariner. Yad rakhna, read the poem. Read the poem. What is common to the ancient mariner, Kubla Khan and Christabel? So, you know, all contain magical elements. This is gate type of question. All contain magical elements. All contain ghastly elements. Ghosts are there, kya? All contain fairy tale elements, mythical elements. It is magical elements. Magical elements. RK study info. KEA. Mera course join karo. Crash course or sub kuch milega na. Whatever I am going to do crash course for them now. And everything you will do, you will get. Uh, in KEA. Exam also. I will try, uh, Lada. I will try. So, what is common to ancient mariner, Kubla Khan, Christabel, all contain magical elements. Which poem has these lines? I met murder on the way. He had a mask like Castle Ray. I met murder on the way. He had a mask like Castle Ray. Is it Alastair, the triumph of life? Adonai or the mask of anarchy? I met murder on the way. Bolo. It is from the mask of anarchy. The mask of anarchy. I met murder on the way. The mask of anarchy. Okay. So that is the last question for today. Did you like the quiz guys everyone? I will do more quizzes like this. Tomorrow we will do PGTRB quiz. Okay. But I will be. I will make it useful for gate people and everybody. After that we will do HSA Northeast Slet like that. Did you like it? So we have come to the end of today's session. Good night everybody. Study well. Use this PPT. Uh, those who want to join my course, just wait. I will give you all opportunity. I will give you the detailed video and I will tell you what to do. Okay, I will make. I will come on YouTube. I will tell you all. Bye. Good night. God bless.